Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Lightmatica for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, all you wanna do is go to your search bar and search up mod Rinf, like so. Here, just enter, and then you'll find modrinf.com. Just click on modrinf, and then you'll be on the modrinf homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website and then you have to go down to mods. Then you want to go to search mods and you want to search up Lightmatica, like so, and then just click on the Lightmatica name. Here all you want to do is go to versions, then you want to go to game versions and choose a Minecraft version that you want to play. I'm going to choose the latest Minecraft version. And here. All you want to do is make sure this matches with Fabric here, we will be using Fabric in today's tutorial, and just click the green download button. From there, once you have downloaded Lightmatica, just go to the Lightmatica version name, and now just scroll down and you'll find dependencies here called Malalib. So all you want to do, just go ahead and click the Malalib, and this will bring you to this page here, and now just go to versions, and just do like before, Select a Minecraft version of your choosing which matches with the previous one and just click that version and once you're done you want to go to this version here making sure that it's correct. There you have fabric here and just click the green download button. And once you're done with all of this all you want to do is go to discover content mods and you want to get yourself fabric API. You can also search for it right here if you want. Okay, once you see fabric API click on it and go to versions. Then go to game versions and choose the same version you did for Malalib and Lightmatica. And once you're done, make sure this version matches, make sure this for Fabric and click the green download button. And now you're done with Modrinf. So all you want to do here is simply go ahead and go to your search bar on a new tab. You want to go ahead and open up a new tab basically and you want to go ahead and search up Fabric Minecraft. Here you want to enter and then you'll find FabricMC.net. Just click on Fabric and then you'll be on the Fabric homepage. So from there all you want to do is just go ahead and click the blue download button and now you want to go ahead and click the blue download for Windows button here. And now all you want to do is once you have Fabric Installer, Fabric API, Malalib and Lightmatica, knowing that all these three has to match with the same Minecraft Java version, you can just go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. Here all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now all you want to do is just double click the fabric installer here and now you will want to go ahead and make sure this Minecraft version here matches with the three mods right here. So just click on the version which matters for you and just go ahead and click install. Okay and close. And now all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher and you want to go ahead and make sure you have fabric installed and if you do you'll be able to go ahead and access the mods folder. So here we have fabric and this means you can go to installations here on the top of the Minecraft launcher. Then you can go to the fabric loader here, hovering over it and go to the folder icon. Here all you want to do is find mods somewhere and then you want to double click the mods folder. Once you're here you want to go to downloads, you want to select the three mods and copy them. Then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your folder and click paste. And now you're done with this part so if you have .minecraft mods and Fabric API, Malalib, and Lightmatica. All you want to do is simply go ahead and go back to the Minecraft launcher. You want to go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. And now you have to wait for everything to open up automatically. Okay, so once you have Minecraft here, you can go to a single player world, like so. And I'll just go to a tutorial world here. And here, basically, once you have Minecraft open, it should look like this. Not much will change, just like so, but you will notice some changes basically. So if you go ahead and go to the M key, you're gonna have the Lightmatica menu here, where you can go ahead and select some OBS, like so. You can have some saved schematics, you can load schematics as well using this button here, which is the schematic you have on your computer, just add it here. You can share them and everything. I basically have a tutorial on how to use Lightmatica itself, but here it is more on how to actually get Lightmatica to work on Minecraft Java. 
So yeah, if you need help with actually using it, I do have a video in the description which will help you for that. But this video just helps you to get Lightmatica on your Minecraft Java instance. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!